Ahoy hoy, and welcome to another You're Wrong About. Today I decided to go revisit one of my more popular videos, You're Wrong About D-Class, to do a little bit of a follow-up. I've done this with some other videos in the recent past, uh, where I look through the comments to see how people either disagree or have additional questions about uh, the topic that I cover. So let's talk a little bit about how you're still wrong about D-Class. Coolbeans375 says, also the fact that they take children from war backgrounds and orphanages simply because no one would notice them. Uh, a stand user says, I think they kidnap homeless people and use illegal immigrants too. Um, maybe your version of the foundation does. I think a lot of people see the SCP Foundation as a very, very, God, that's so insulting too. As a very like, evil like not well not not neutral but a super evil organization uh and so this kind of stuff seems reasonable taking children seems beyond the pale remember that the scp foundation isn't just some nebulous entity there any entity is comprised of people and I don't know, in, a, in the modern world, it seems very unlikely to me taking children from war-torn countries and orphanages <laughs> and turning them into test subjects. Now, I'm not saying that some of those people wouldn't be willing to do that. In fact, there's even, um, I think it's a story about, or not a story, but one of the testing logs for 682 involves that. It's, very, it's a very famous one where Clef ends up uh, killing the guy afterwards, which is an example of what would probably happen in the, in the real world. Uh, if this existed, because uh, straight up, no one would be okay with, not like one person might be okay with that. Even a group of people may eventually approve it, but as soon as the wider foundation found out about it, or even slightly higher ups, that would just be reversed. So, uh, homeless, maybe. Illegal immigrants, I don't know. The homeless could be used, and there are quite a lot of them, probably would be doubling up on the available people you could use oh man thinking about this kind of stuff is actually quite dark i remember when i did this video and i did a lot of research into prisons and the like the situation the prison industrial complex in america and elsewhere as well uh, this dives into even worse situations like uh the problem of homelessness in america it's probably as many homeless in america i Actually, I could look this up real quick. It's just how many homeless are in America? Uh, about a half a million. Which, yeah, that would be more... That would really improve the number of people available uh, for this. I mean, you couldn't take all of them. About half of those are children. So they're not really suitable to be D-Class. Uh, a fair portion of them, uh, unfortunately, same as in our prison system, um, an unfortunately high amount of those people uh, are not mentally capable uh, for a variety of reasons, which I will not go into, uh, of being reliable test subjects. Um, and that's the important thing you got to think about. Reliability. How predictable do you think the people you're going to be using in this testing are? You can't just say, well, that's a person, and that's good enough. The, the person has to have predictable behavior. Um, and unfortunately, uh, and this does result in these people being victims of crimes more often than not, but uh, homeless people also have a higher percentage of mental illness rates, um, a variety of problems. I, I just don't see... The vast majority of the, it just doesn't it doesn't work for me like the idea of taking people who are unreliable and or unpredictable and trying to throw them against these anomalies uh if this is the case there would be a lot more problems coming out of it this is such oh man such a <laughs> i really i thought i was gonna do this video and it'd just be light nice and fun but god this is such a dark fucking thing Ugh, i forgot about how terrible the uh, d-class as a concept is. Matthew Swart says, for all we know, the SCP Foundation has a cloning machine. This is true. Very much uh, true. And in fact, I believe uh, people talk about using SCP-2000 to create clones. 
which again is possible if you want to use the uh use them in your scp universe uh, i don't necessarily think that i think i've said this in the video the original d-class video what makes d-class useful as a story uh element is that they aren't faceless mindless or anonymous right Yes, we give them a name or uh, we give them a number designation in the stories to try and show that the SCP Foundation is treating them that way. But the whole point of a D class is supposed to be the juxtaposition of how the SCP Foundation treats them versus what they actually are, which are, you know, people with hopes and dreams and histories. King Bimo H, the reason that all execution numbers are low is because the people who are supposed to be executed disappear to the foundation. Perfectly reasonable assumption. You could totally make that work as a uh, concept. <laughs> Dr. Jade, I believe in monthly D-class terminations. Good for you. Colos Lovasis. <laughs> no, I'm not. All right. WTF happening, IDK if it's just me, but you babble a lot. IDK. Jacob A. Yeah, the killing them part seems stupid unless it's for a proper reason, especially since growth of skills. This is something I talked about in the video. This growth of skills and handling SCPs would be very important. Yeah, very much so. The, the uh, yeah, the problem is when we look at the, uh, look at them as just completely disposable. <laughs> Sanguine Regis uh, wrote into testing points, but at the same time, are D class literally disposable? Perhaps there could be levels of D class, and he goes into it where essentially you have actually disposable ones, uh, disposable but not executed, and D class who are expendable, but you kind of want to keep them around so that they build experience with the things that you. <laughs> Uh, that you're actually need experienced people working with. I'm not going to read the whole comment here, but I'll give you like a summary from, or at least the beginning part of it. it covers most of the important parts. There's a long uh, one, two, three, four, four, we'll call that five, six paragraph long comment. Uh, but the point is basically while the t number of D class is a tad unrealistic, the SCP world should not be compared with using our world statistics. Their world is one where monsters, abominations, and world-ending entities and objects exist, where entire towns or even cities get wiped out from a single incident. Hell, if all documents are taken from the same canon timeline, they're not. The, the apocalypse did occur, and civilization was rebuilt via a cloning machine at least twice. Uh, the point here is that uh, the SCP universe and the actual universe are not the same thing. So, uh, which is totally accurate, but we have to base uh, our knowledge on what we know about the real world. Because if you don't do that, then what are you basing it on? Literally anything is possible at that point, which is fine. That's the point of writing. But what we're working with here is a, a world that purports to be the real world. That's sort of the conceit of the SCP Foundation, the idea that it's it's the actual world and what's going on is real uh, and you're just not seeing it so sorel d-class execution is monumentally wasteful and stupid on top of being pointlessly cruel it's a stupid remnant of lull foundation days and i'm glad there's a skip which makes the idea a mimetic hazard i actually didn't know there was a skip that did that but uh, I think that's a good summary for the concept for, the, for pretty much all of it is monumentally wasteful and stupid on top of being pointlessly cruel. There's nothing wrong with being cruel as long as there is a purpose to it. Pragmatic villainy is fine, but being pointlessly cruel, being wasteful, that just makes you a bad villain and you're going to lose because of it. So, you know, try to do something else. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, I think that's enough for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. If you'd like, you can go over to watch the You're Wrong About D-Class video, but given that it and the You're Wrong About 173 are like, probably 75% of you subscribers came from those videos in the first place. Uh, most of you probably have seen it. If you haven't seen it, go over and give it a look. I'll have a link in the description. And then, Head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian like everybody here on the screen already has and join 
Lawful Evil at $60, Hot-Headed Canadian at $50, Probably a Wizard and Definitely Not a Scientist at $42, and Vivi at $40. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Tuesday. <laughs>